doing what I can, and I've already got nine thousand dollars under contract in just about a month and a half. You know, if you follow the material, that is so easily understandable and broken down for you in the crazy, you know, the most easiest way. Because I really think I have a uh, not a disorder, but I, I know I've got ADD, man. I, I squirrel, you know, that's me, man. Um, but if I can understand the material and I can, if I can go through it and if I can start pulling leads on my own just from the material you guys provide and I can start making calls and getting deals, man, I mean, I, I know anybody. Hey guys, Spencer Van here back with another success story interview. Super, super, super excited about this one. I'm here with Luke. Luke has several deals on our contract in his very first month of actually making calls for tax surplus funds. Many people don't know this, but we actually teach several different forms of surplus funds inside of Surplus Mastery, uh, all of which are nationwide. And in this particular case, Luke is in Florida killing it with tax funds. So with that being said, Super excited about this interview. Um, the audio, unfortunately, is not great on Luke's part. I don't know if it was just a bad connection or, or what was going on there. So I do highly recommend that you guys break out some headphones if you can. If not, totally fine. You should be able to hear it, but it'll be a lot clearer if you have headphones. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the interview. Luke has got a crazy story. Um, he's got a couple deals under contract right now. He's been working on it. Um, and yeah, I, I don't really want to give too much away. So Luke, I guess I always like to start with just kind of a little background. So, you know, you shared with me a little bit that you've been in real estate for a while and you kind of were tired of it, but what exactly got you into surplus funds and, and really more or less, what exactly got you onto business in the first place? All right. So, uh, yeah, I moved down to Florida in my 2010 and I moved back to New York in 2012 and ultimately I ended up dropping out of college up there. I uh, just found out that it wasn't for me. So I got into real estate. Um, <laughs> college dropout, yay. Um, but ultimately, uh, I got into real estate and just really found uh, a niche and found that it was for me. I started with wholesaling, and uh, from there, I got into fix and flips, using hard money, and uh, doing uh, fix and flips. So that's, my, that's my goal. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I just found out that you know it was a, it was a real grind, and I had no issue with grinding and making money. Um, but I found that. You know, something that was so unique with uh, surplus funds was, you know, just you're giving back and you give back to the community. You can also make a really significant amount of money uh, doing that. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at now is, uh, you know, seven years later in real estate. You know, it took me seven years to find what I really wanted to do. And, uh, <laughs> I guess that's surplus funds. There you go, man. Awesome. And um, did, you, did you originally find out about surplus funds through us or did you find out a different way? So I was actually, you know, it's crazy. I've spent some money in different courses and stuff like that. But I was actually on YouTube just messing around, uh, finding more efficient ways to fix the houses. And one of uh, surplus fund ads came across my page. And 95% of the time, dude, I just, I always hit skip ad, skip ad, skip ad. And I was like, you know what? Let me just watch this one. Oh, nice. And so I went, I went from there, from watching this quick two minute ad uh, to, forward and going through the uh, introductory uh you know the introductory video that you guys did it's like an hour hour long or whatever and dude i was so intrigued i could just tell by you know you on the video and dave on the video i was like there's something different here because i've i've seen the hustling gurus you know i've seen those guys that are just in it you know uh, make the course money and all that stuff and i just knew there was something different man so i went for it i paid the initiation fee i went through the course and um and I'm just telling you, there's something so different. <laughs> They're not paying me to say this, but man, seriously, there's there's something different about this course. I appreciate um, that, man. It, it's, it's wild. It's wild. And like I said, I, I joined back in August of 2019, and I didn't really do anything until about a month and a half ago because I, I recently got married. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I was really busy trying to get the whole housing in order. So we just moved into our new house. And, you know, there's a lot of overwhelming things going on. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Now, I finally just got back into it and knocking out the videos and doing surplus deals and you know, working my leads and doing what I can. And I've already got $9,000 under contract in just about a month and a half. And uh, I got two more going out and I just got a contract back in the mail this morning. So, and I'm a happy camper. Definitely a happy camper. I love it, man. Well, congratulations. And going back to, to your story, that's so funny because um, you know, we've had people before that they jump in the course and then, you know, life happens, something comes up for you. It was, Hey, we're getting married. 
Um, so, you know, you go get married, you gotta, you gotta move, right? And then you're like, you know what? I wanna do surplus funds now because we're in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> you got married in March of 2020? I got married March 7th of 2020. Oh my gosh. So maybe weeks before this whole thing went crazy. And then you're like, you know what? Comes around. You said you started in April is when you actually went through the course. I, I just looked and I started on April 12th. So what does that put us out? Like six weeks I've been in this. Yeah. The six weeks you've been in it. When did you actually start making calls? When I started making calls, uh, I'll be honest. I started making calls about a week and a half into my, my courses and my lessons. because I got through the modules really quickly. Um, I mean, I just was back to back to back. Once we, so this is crazy. Came back from our honeymoon. I was kind of, everything was like, it was nuts, man. I mean, we get back, we got off our cruise. We had a planned trip to Europe. That got canceled. We ended up doing a, an Eastern Caribbean cruise. Um, that was nothing like we had anticipated, but it was cool. And when we got back to port, we found out that that was the last cruise of the season. Wow. And we're watching the news and watching all the news on the cruise and we get back we're like holy cow this is crazy like what's it gonna be like when we get back and sure enough we get back and stuff just starts shutting down shutting down shutting down i had four real estate deals uh pending uh, these are four real estate deals separate from surplus right. um, that were pending and every single one of them got postponed and i still haven't i still haven't earned money since then besides wow. through um, surplus which has been absolutely crazy wow um and yeah so i finally just touched you know, started picking, picking it back up in April, and what we got, we got 9,000, 9, 7,000 is what has already been a process from the counties so far. I spoke to them, I contacted them, and that's what I added up. As I said, I got a couple more that are going out, which is just wild, and I got are you a couple going? more that are pending. So. That's, that's amazing, man. So, so yeah, man, so, so you, you hop in April 12th. You got about a week and a half, you're going through the program, so you say, would that be maybe 10 days, so maybe the 20, 20 seconds? around that you start making calls and now on may 26 so maybe a little over a month uh of actually making calls and you've got how many deals actual total like just different deals do you have right now uh i've been working smaller deals not the really small ones but um uh that's only four deals four deals wow so four, so basically one deal per week in your first four weeks of making calls which is pretty yeah good. that's kind of what i tried to average um I, I really i set a higher goal i set a goal for Twelve thousand per month first first month. Um, so I know that when you set goals, you always try to come in at least a little under it. You know, right. you don't always expect to hit. Right, right. Uh, you know, but I hit seventy five percent of my goal when I got my first month. That's amazing, man. That's amazing, and um, awesome. Man. I mean, congratulations. So let me ask you this: as far as your sure plus fund business, I know you mentioned you've done a bunch of other stuff before. Um, you know, what what is your future plan with the surplus fund business? Are you looking to scale it? Like, are you looking yeah. to look dates? What, what's your yeah, what's yeah? I'm definitely looking to scale. Um, uh, to be you know completely honest and transparent, my mind is always going a million miles a minute. I'm probably one of the most disorganized people you can meet, and I'm you know unofficial. I I've, I've self diagnosed myself with ADD. Uh, so, but I'm a great people person and I, I know how to make deals and make contacts and stuff like that. I've actually had my wife handle more of the back end stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm telling me, hey, did you mail out this? Did you get this done? What do you need? Because she, that's what her degree is in. You know, and she, she's actually got a cybersecurity degree. So she's, oh, okay. she's, a, she's a smart one. <laughs> I'm a college dropout. Um, but she, she's really helped me a lot too on the back end because she's keeping stuff in order and uh, you know, making sure that I'm getting stuff done. But yeah, my, my ultimate goal, man, is I'm, I'm hoping for 2020 a strong year. I would like to um, get to about 15K you know, a month. If I could be averaging 15K a month by the end of the year. Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's a really achievable goal too for me. Because I've, I've just been ramping up, man. I went from doing 25, 30 calls a week, mm -hmm. doing about 60 calls uh, a week right now. Oh, wow. And I, I may eventually have to hire somebody to start doing some more calls for me. And, handling more of my CRM stuff as well. Right. Absolutely, man. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. It's great that you have that, that team, um, you know, that, that, that uh, you know, husband, wife, uh, you know, team right there. And, and the reason why it's great is because, and you know this too, I can tell. One thing that we've seen work really, really well with surplus fund businesses is there's one guy or one gal that's doing all the sales and they're kind of the marketing and salesperson and all that. And, and it seems like that's you. It seems like you're the yeah. guy that can get on the phone that can close the deal, right? 
Yeah, and then they have someone else that's doing the administrative, running the operations, that's more of the analytical mind. And it seems like obviously in this, that, that would be your, uh, your, 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 your spouse. Um, so, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a perfect partnership and that's kind of what David and I have where it's like, I'm the, I, you know, I, I love talking to people. I love, I love being in front of people. Um, and he's, you know, he's the head coach. He's the guy that teaches and all that. And then he's the one that does the deals and all that. So it's uh, it's an interesting partnership. Um, now let me ask you something because I know sometimes, and this is just cause I'm curious, uh, there's some. For, for the couples out there watching this that may be interested in doing surplus funds, did you have any issues convincing her to, to, to work with you on this or was she just ready to go right away? Um, okay, so with this whole pandemic, it's actually opened you know, her eyes and this is something I've been hoping and praying for for a while too, but um, this whole pandemic has opened her eyes to quit her job. So she actually quit her job wow. 100%. So she's been working from home, mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you know, tutoring and doing stuff out of the house, private music lessons and all that too. And uh, it, it was kind of just for her. Her whole thing with me was, okay, now we're one. We're, we're a union now. Right. We're, we're now a married couple. How can we work you know, with each other? And how can we help and better each other and better our lives together? Right. And we're kind of on track right now. Man. We'll be completely debt free in about four to five months. Oh, just because of us putting our heads and our minds together and you know, yeah. really working hard together. Um, she was completely on board. I actually... I paid for the training with you guys before we got married. I, I didn't tell her about it. Um, you know, right. uh, but now that we're married, you know, I know people have different opinions. We have a joint account now, so we do everything together and we keep everything together. You know, we have a really open, uh, transparent right. relationship together. Uh, but yeah, she was totally on board, man. She, you know, I started showing, showing her some of the modules, showing her some of the videos. And she's like, she's like, wow. She's like, you don't even, because me, she always, when we first met too, she, even, she, Says and she's like, man, you're a hustler. And she's like, are you, you know, are you cool with what you do? And I grew up, you know, I grew up in church. I grew up a Christian guy. You know, I never right. even screw when somebody to make a dollar. I was never about that. Right. Um, but in real estate, dude, you got to have the hustle mentality, man. You got to be like, how am I going to get this deal closed? And it's in real estate, it's always more about commission than it is about caring for somebody. Right. And that's the coolest thing, man, about uh, surplus funds is uh, really just change your mindset on it. Well, you're making money, yeah, but look at how much money these people are actually making. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's it's the coolest thing. And once I explained that to her and showed that showed her that, she was like, wow, I'm fully humble. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I mean, it's 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 so true too. And that's one of the reasons why I, I just never got that into wholesaling. I did a couple deals. Um oh, it sucks. Deals. <laughs> what, what, what's that? What's that? Wholesaling sucks. <laughs> All selling is dead. You've heard it here first. Uh, it kind of uh, is, man. I'll be the first to say. It. Go, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's just, you know, first of all, it is kind of dead. Not that it's, there's not, there's people wholesaling. Okay, first of all, I'm glad we're addressing this. I, you know, you don't know how many emails and messages I get of angry wholesalers telling me that I'm wrong. Okay, let me prove my point to you. Number one is, it's way too competitive. Okay, way too competitive. Everyone and their mom wants to wholesale right now. Okay, I don't know why, but it is, number one. Number two is, uh, let's just talk about this. Is it really ethical? You know, is it really ethical? Oh, and we have a, we have a friend hopping in too. Sorry. That's Milo. <laughs> Milo, Milo's hanging out. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll get you a deal closer shirt and we'll get Milo some sort of a deal closer shirt or something. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, but yeah, so the second thing is, is it really ethical? You know, um, if, if someone has a house that's worth 100000 and they owe, you know, 50,000. So there's 50,000 in equity. And, you know, you're like, hey, I'll give you 60 for it because they need it. You know, I'm not going to give you full market value, even though it's a perfectly fine house, but just because you're in a bad spot, I'm only going to offer you 60. It's like, I don't know if that's really, I don't know. You know, you're helping them, but are, are you really, uh, there's just a lot of gray area. I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, man, I mean, it's super exciting. I'm, I'm super excited to hear about your, your, your success. Um, again, congratulations on getting married. That's huge. What a crazy time to, to, to get married and how well this happened. I will say that, uh, you know, so that's been, uh, it's been an interesting time, but yeah, man. And, and the other th cool thing too, about uh, surplus funds that you mentioned briefly is how it's, you know, there's still deals going on, even though we're in a recession, you know, you talked about how you had some other deals pending. Were those fix and flip deals? Were those wholesaling deals? What, what type of deals are you have pending right now that you still haven't gotten paid on? Yeah, so I've got four. They were kind of wholesale deals. Uh, two of them I was actually looking at going in on. Mm -hmm. you know, with my family, with my dad, we were going to go in. And 
six and seven months ago. Uh, two of them were bank owned deals, and the banks are sh like shut down now. So I'm like, I'm just at a standstill. Um, yeah. You know, luckily, thank God we had savings, you know, and right. of all, we paid our mortgage and stuff like that. But yeah, man, the, those four deals, they're, they're just you know, in the waiting right now in the shadows. It's crazy, man. It is crazy. Um, awesome, man. Well, yeah, my last question I like to ask people is, uh, right now, if you could go back to yourself, um, back in August, I know you joined way back and you just kind of sat on it for a while, but if you go back to the night or the day that you were on the live training and you were thinking about jumping into the program, but maybe you're on the fence, what would you say to that person? So I will say this, there are a lot of gurus out there. There are a lot of these make money, you know, and these, these empty uh, promised lies out there on YouTube and everywhere you look up, get rich quick. There is no get rich quick trick to make money fast. There's, there's no way. It's impossible. You know, you're not going to make money quick in the snap of your finger without getting off your butt and, and working. Um, it, it's just true. I know that because I dropped out of college and I thought I could do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be the richest freaking 19 year old. And it was just, it was not true. Um, but here's what, here's what sets you guys apart. And this is, I'll get me a Bible. I'll, I'll lay my hand on it and promise. And that this is, you know, if you follow the material that is so easily understandable and broken down for you in the crazy, you know, the most easiest way. Cause I, I really think I have a, uh, not a disorder, but I, I know I've got ADD, man. I, I squirrel, you know, that's me, man. Um, but if I can understand the material and I can, if I can go through it and if I can start pulling leads on my own just from the material you guys provide and I can start making calls and getting deals, man, I mean, I, I know anybody can. And here's something, too, that really, really set you guys apart for me. And this is when it was really proven to me. This was after I, you know, I bought in with you guys and did your service. And I found this out. Was when I'm sending an email, I include my phone number. And your partner, David, is calling me. I'm like, California. I answer. And it's David. Hey, hey, Luke, it's David from Surplus Fund. I'm like, okay. That's never happened to me when I joined, you know, all these other courses that I paid for in the past, man. I'm 25. I'm going to be 26 years old. I probably dropped 15 grand in courses. Wow. And um, yours was definitely the cheapest and the most profitable for me. Wow. And, you know, but that was something that definitely set me apart was a being on the call with David. And now I'm on the call with you, you know, that you just, you just don't see that. You know, I'm not going to go and bash all these other, all these other gurus, you know? right. but that, that's just not a common thing. Right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It, it means a lot to us. We love seeing you guys be successful and, um, and yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Do you have any other comments or anything else you'd like to uh, let everybody know that's watching us and maybe it's in the course and, and just getting started and, and need some extra inspiration? Uh, I would say just, you know, grind it out, wake up in the morning and, and uh, stay focused, you know, stay focused and, you know, follow your heart, you know, and follow, you know, what your goals are, you know, don't, don't let money be the goal. Don't let wealth and, oh, I want to buy a new car. I want to buy a new boat. I'll be your motivation. Uh, let your motivation be, oh, you know, whether you're single, oh, let me get some money. Let me throw some money aside so that I could, you know, eventually get a family or, you know, What's your, what's your why? You know, know your why. Know your why. You know, make money. Not, oh, how can I make so much money? How can I get rich quick? But what's my why? You know? Right. Awesome, man. Luke, thank you so much. We appreciate you, my friend. Uh, we wish you the most success. And hopefully we'll be checking in in six months, a year from now, and you'll be hitting your goal. And, uh, and awesome, man. So big congrats again. Thank you so much, Luke. Sounds good, man. Thanks so much.